A free POS app? What is anybody doing making free stuff in 2020? Calm down, it's not actually free. Square is a payment processor first and they provide free POS software second. So by downloading this software, you're signing up to their payment processing and that charges you a fee for every card transaction. You'll also need to pick up their card reader, which you can do via the Storekit website in the description. For payments, they charge a 1.75% headline rate. The best part? There's no contract. Each payment card levies the same fee, whether you're MasterCard or American Express. This video is going to walk you through the inside of the free POS app, which comes with Square Payment Processing. And here's the plug, we're a marketplace for different processors and POS software. So we partner with Square, but we also partner with their competitors. Our consultations are free, so there's no downside to giving us a call. Finally, this is one of three flagship Square products. There's also the Square Terminal, which looks like this. And then there's Square Restaurant, the premium version of this POS software. Square is for merchants who want to set up an EPOS system quickly and easily. It's good for small growing businesses looking to upgrade from pen and paper. The first thing I would do if I wanted Square is to click the link in the description to download the software. Then I would head to the Storekit website and I would purchase their reader which looks like this. And then I would create an account with the app which we've already done. This is the iPad version of the app but Square is also available on Android and you can control it from your phone too. First things first, if we navigate to settings, I can link my bank account to Square so they know where to send all my DOSH to. Second, we can add the Square Reader, like so, and you can see the flashing buttons on the Square Reader as depicted here. It's a Bluetooth connection, so you'll struggle if your reader is in the next room. When we log into the Square app, we first arrive at the cashier's screen where you would sell items. Press and hold down on an empty tile to add an item to the grid. Sell items by weight or at a fixed price. I'm now going to sell a muffin at a fixed price of £1.80. You can add an image, a category, a SKU number and any variations. Like chocolate muffin or blueberry muffin. Or I might want to sell a loaf of bread which I'm going to price by weight. In kilograms but you can also create a custom unit. There's the option to track inventory in real time too. Drag items around the grid so that you can put your top selling items on the grid pages for fast access. You can only import products in the back office, not in the app. Go into your WebSquare dashboard and upload an XLS or CSV file spreadsheet. In the items folder, there's the option to create categories like drinks or food, as well as discounts in percentages or discrete. Simply tap on the item and it should appear on the ticket. If you want to add a discount, do the same. Then press charge and a list of options will pop up. If the POS device is connected to a reader, the reader will display the option to swipe, insert or tap. If you want to pay by other ways, that's possible. Just click cash, manual credit card entry or card on file if the customer's card details are already in the system. You can also pay by gift cards. Um, split tender or split the bill into equal payments. After charging is processed, a prompt will ask the customer how they'd prefer to receive the receipt by text or email. If you want to issue a refund, go to transactions. Here we have a simple record of all sales, issue a whole, partial or amount refund or send a new receipt. Go to customers, click the three dots at the top of the sidebar and select new customer, fill in their contact and address and then click save. In an eating establishment, bills are often compiled over a long period of time. Tap the new ticket button in the upper right hand corner of the screen for each new customer group as a bar or eat-in ticket or custom. Then reopen it and edit it at later stages. Search tickets by name in the bar on the left hand side. 
want support, speak directly to their team on the phone, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, or use the tutorials in the app which take you through the process. This is where you customise which payments you accept, the VAT rate, and whether you want a receipt screen after the transaction. There's the option to set percentage amounts of tips. Under Customer Management, use the toggles to control when you want to collect customer data, before or after they check out. Do you want to save a credit card to a customer profile? Configure these profiles in the customer directory. Under Hardware, you can connect to your card reader. Store kits supply the card reader and selected cash drawers and printers which work with the Square system, so you can hook it up to these devices. You can also manage online orders directly from the Square app. By default, notifications will be enabled, but you can disable or adjust how often you're notified of new orders. That was the Square app, now we're going to take you to their back office, which you can access in your web browser. While the app gives you a quick overview of sales, the web browser gives more detailed reports. At a quick glance, there's information about your cash flow and sales, your balance, gross sales, payment methods, top items by sales, and top categories by sales. On the left hand side, there are nine icons which will each take you on to discrete pages. Use the filters at the top of the page to narrow down your search. First up, there are reports. This breaks down into even more pages which you can navigate to in the left hand sidebar. The summary is where you can see your transactions over time tallied up in a nice graph. You can create a custom time frame across a period of days or weeks or even a specific day part. See how this year measures up to last year's sales. Go to sales trends. You can see your sales by payment method, by category, by team number, discounts and by modifiers. You can get a quick overview of your voids and comps. Comps is when you need to remove the cost of the item from the customer receipt out of goodwill or if you need to fix a mistake. The tab Transaction Status tells you about the number of declined or cancelled transactions in any given time frame. You can also see cash draw reports too. Break down your transactions and refunds by payment method or search by receipt number. In the item library, you can import a new library or create items manually. In customers, set up a directory so you have all your customers in one place. You can get a deep insight into your customer behavior, customer spending, customer visits, customer frequency, who are your most loyal customers, and customer recency. So you can compare visits by new versus returning customers and how many visits they made. The customer satisfaction feedback is based on customer service, quality, selection, environment and wait time. There's an option that's available to set up gift cards. Now for team, here you can set up time tracking, so staff clock in and out directly in the POS, sort access levels and export payroll. Under time cards, you can view when your staff clock in and out for stress-free payroll. Any integrated tools from other providers, such as for e-commerce and bookkeeping, are paid for separately through other platforms. If you want to create and customise specific levels of access and assign them to one, some or all of your team members, there's an added fee. It's £20 per month per location and that gives you extra employee management features. Restaurants are also able to upgrade to Square for restaurants, where you pay monthly for hospitality specific features like table management. In account settings, you can change your email address, your password, your bank account, your logo and what's shown on your receipt. So you might want to have your Facebook page or Instagram account displayed on your receipt. I want to sell online. Well, Square does have an e-commerce platform powered by Weebly, which neatly syncs with your point of sale. It also works with shopping for Instagram too. So simply go to your online Square dashboard and get started for free. Invoices lets you create estimates, reports on your invoices and make formatting changes. 
Square Virtual Terminal lets you take CNP payments. In payments lingo, that's when the customer's card is not physically present. You pay 2.5% for each transaction and receive the money in one to two working days. This higher rate applies to all cases where the customer isn't present, including e-commerce and invoice transactions. Square does the job and it's joined up with a smart little reader that packs a punch. It's free, easy to sign up and set up. There's a range of tools and analytics features, although it does lack advanced reporting and loyalty capabilities, for which you might need to look elsewhere. Square's often put on the same pedestal as iZettle as the best of the bunch in free EPOS software. The right point of sale software for you will depend on your business. So use our comparison tool below to find out which of these is better for you. Thanks for watching. If there's anything you're unsure about, don't hesitate to give us a call.